What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in Waste. I'm Gage Edwards here with Waste360.com's top stories for this past week. Lots of good stuff to get into this week. We've also started previewing some topics that we will see at GWMS later this month. So make sure you check those out. So when you attend, you kind of have a good preview of what you're going to see. And you better be attending GWMS. Anyway, let's just jump right into those stories now. Number five, Circular.co connects sellers and buyers of recyclables. A disconnect between buyers and sellers is at the heart of the problem, and it's fueled by a lack of information available to those stakeholders, believes Shannon Gordon, COO of Circular.com. Number four, survey, consumers seek sustainable products and packaging transparency. Consumers exhibited a heightened awareness of sustainability and transparency, particularly in relation to their favorite brands and products. However, 69% were still skeptical, believing that companies are not accurate reporting on sustainability goals and metrics. Additionally, 40% of respondents express discomfort in purchasing products from companies not actively progressing towards sustainability goals. Number three, Cyclo biodegrades polyester and nylon in a few years. Polyester and nylon are top contributors. The two most common clothing fabrics, they are recognized for their durability, high performance, and for their persistence in the environment. Cyclo fibers made by Intrinsic Advanced Materials, a joint venture between Intrinsic Textiles Group and spun yarn supplier Parkdale advanced materials is among evolving technologies aiming to lessen these materials plastics pollution load number two gwms 2024 david risk puts methane measurement to the test with controlled experiments david risk professor at brian maloney institute of government research chair at saint francis xavier university is leading a gwms session with an interesting experiment looking at methane emissions risks presentation a controlled release experiment for investigating methane measurement performance at landfills looks at an experiment his team built to see if vendors could measure methane. And our top story of the week, apartment owners sue city of Pasadena, Texas for exclusive trash collection contract with WM. The lawsuit alleged that the city fee, which the owners characterize as a kickback, is an impermissible tax by the city on customers who must accept trash removal services from WM under the city created monopoly and must pay an excessive and unconstitutional 25% tax on the mandated services. The owners asserted that they paid the illegal fee under duress. And those were our top stories for the week. You can learn more about each of these stories over on waste360.com. It's a great place. It's a cool website and a lot of good stuff from yours truly. And that better interests you because I got good content. At least if I keep telling myself that, my therapist will be happy. That was my homework for my therapist to keep saying that I am good at things. Self-reassurance. Is it working? Anyway, we're closer than ever to this year's Waste Expo happening in Las Vegas this May. By now, you should have had your travel arrangements ready, your hotels booked, and registered for the events. If you haven't done those things, you still have time. But listen, what are you waiting for? Waste Expo is coming up. You better be there. The biggest events in the industry all year. Be there. It's going to be really fun. And if you're not there, you're going to feel silly for not being there. Until next time, thanks for watching.